Hello everyone and welcome to another PWN Design Studio tutorial. Uh, actually, not tutorial, but discovering geoglyph video. Not so much a tutorial. Anyways, I put together this scene right here, which contains these few little nodes. Uh, in this one we're going to be talking about the perlinoclast, perlinoclast or perlinoclast, however you want to say it. And what this does is it gives you these awesome ridges with this um, interference noise that you can, uh, that I'll show you so, uh, shortly here. And if you look at the picture right here, you can kind of see where those cliffs are. Um, and then in the uh, um, going across those ridges are these little interference ridges, kind of like uh, subformations. So those are um, what I'll be showing you. So I have the final result here, and I just want to apologize and uh, apologize right now in case World Machine decides to crash. It likes to do that when I record video, and I just recently started doing this. Of course, right when something comes out, and I'm actually doing videos on it. So, anyways, this is the uh, perlinoclast, and these are the cliffs that you can. Uh, the option right here, which will form those cliffs, as you can see, up in the uh, preview window. Uh, and these are the subformations. So if you have uh, a large amount right here, um, those cliffs actually become really straight and hard, as you can see. Uh, but now you can really see those little, uh, su uh, the little interference right here. And this is the uh, signal direction for that interference. So this is the uh, interference direction. When I move this up, you'll see that these little interferences um, will actually rotate around in a 360 degrees. So I'll just show you right now. And you can see how that's working. So that's pretty cool. You can get some really cool uh, looking uh, landscapes with this. And this isn't the same as stratification. So don't get this mixed up with strata. This is a little bit different. And then there's signal direction, which this will change the direction of your, see I told you, it'll probably do that. That's why I save everything first. Um, I'm going to go further down on here with the cliffs though because I kind of like the way that looked. Um, but I'll take the subformations all the way back up so you can actually see what we're doing. So the signal direction will actually change the direction of those uh, uh, cliff formations almost. So I'll move that up and you can see that that changes the direction of the cliff formations. So what I'll do is I'll kind of do what Quad Spinner did where, with their picture right here where they have the cliffs going one direction, the subformations going in another direction. And so I'll just change the interference here to make them going more straight like that. Um, and then right here in the fusion you can change the fusion so this is kind of like a blending so if we have this all the way up, you can kind of see how that blends in with a little uh, the uh, underlying fractal. So just to make it a little bit more harsh, I'll just keep it not so blended. Uh, I will change the subformations a little bit and add a little bit more noise to those so it breaks them up a little bit. Just a little bit, probably halfway. And then uh, under the collapse, if I move this around, you can see how those cliffs look like they're still really sharp and edgy. And when it's when it's all the way up on, the collapse is all the way up, it kind of, again, blends in a little bit. So I'll just move these this slider down. Really? Really, world machine? And it's getting bad, too. Like, it's getting to the point where it's just getting really difficult to make videos with this freaking thing. Um, but I just can't stop using because I like it so much. So maybe I'll make small changes and then save. There, I'm going to have to go back and do that again. Can't remember which way I had it. Well, I can, but I just got to find it on the slider. <clears throat> cool. I'm so glad that I'm not getting paid bucket loads of money to do this video or else I'd be screwed. 
Maybe if I make smaller changes and give it time to update, it won't have such a hard time. Nope, it's just going to keep doing that anyways. So I'll just open it and you get the idea. Um, you get the idea of what I'm talking about. I'll just go back in and explain the settings still. Uh, refinement. So if collapse, uh, if you take the collapse down, the edges will remain uh, you know, really strong and straight. And if you bring it up, it looks like little areas of them actually collapsed. Uh, refinement is kind of like a, you know, just a refinement. If you take it up, it I just don't want it to crash. But if you take it up, you'll, you'll see that the edges uh, become a little bit more soft and um, the quality of the uh, fractal actually goes up a little bit. So I wish I could play with it and show you um, so I, you can actually see it happening, but it's just being dumb. And then there's the seed which everybody knows what the seed does at this point, so I'm not going to worry about talking about that. And then right here is the end result through the kill spike and the neo flow mixed with the erosion, and this is what hopefully it won't crash when I'm trying to build it. Ah, that's just so frustrating. Keeps keeps crashing, and it's just mind-boggling frustrating just want to make this video and show you guys what's going on uh, but you can see that the uh, perlin class or perlino class fractal actually builds really quickly it only took about 10 seconds that's not too bad and i'm rendering it out at 1025 by 1025 so not a really high resolution but you know a decent resolution and then for those who have the free community edition of this or thinking about getting it, I will show you what the quality of the train looks like at 1025 because that's going to be the max extent that you're um, going to be able to render out at. And I'm doing most of my renders out at that resolution anyway so that people who don't have the indie or professional edition um, and are thinking about getting it, can you know, you can see the results. So obviously these are not realistic looking patterns because I can't change them without World Machine crashing, but you can kind of see what it does here. There's our uh, there's our big cliff, and this is our sub interference, and then the interference that we're actually playing with on the cliff, you can see it all right here, um, and that's without and that's with the erosion. Without the erosion, it'll just kind of look you know like there's a little bit of interference going on. Um, but you can see right here, there's two different types of, of cliffs and interferences. There's this one that you can see like right here. And then there's this big one that's going this way. Um, and I wanted these big ones to go in the opposite direction and then these to go up and down on them. But again, World Machine likes to just crash. So that's a uh, Perlino class and I like it. It's pretty cool. I can find some really good reasoning to, to use this. and. Uh, after I'm done making all these discovering videos, I'll actually start doing videos on putting these into use. Hopefully by that time, um, World Machine won't be crashing every time I try to record a video. Who knows? So that's Perlin, Perlino class. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please rate, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you feel like you want to do. I would appreciate if you can help the uh, exposure process. You can also go to www.pwndesign.com and there you will find more information regarding more 3D applications. Thank you and have a nice day.